Hi everyone, Tony here from Lightwave Digital. Today what we're going to be looking at is how to create your first render in Lightwave 3D. So let's get into it. So when you're ready to do your first render in Lightwave 3D, it's really simple. I mean, here's my scene and if I want to, I can simply go up to the render tab and just click the render frame and it will render it. However, before I do that, there's a, there is a few things I would check first. So you can, like I said, just click render, but if you go to the camera, camera properties, by default, you get a minimum of one and eight samples. Now, obviously that's default. With adaptive sampling, there's a minimum and maximum input. This determines how many rays are generated per pixel to render your scene. So usually I like to go to maybe one to 16. And with the threshold, I put 0 0.1 okay and usually this would be okay so let's just render it let's turn vpr off we can see what we've got and then we'll render frame and what this will do now it will start rendering it based on the one to 16. now when this is rendered what it'll do it'll give you an option here to continue when you press continue that will then bring up a new panel that will let you decide where and how you want to save your render. Okay, so I've got my render. I press continue. And then what I've got is my render. Now, there's quite a bit of grain in there. So I would like to re-render this and try different settings. But before that, I want to save a copy of this. So in the top corner here, where it says file. Click on it. And at the top, it says save RGBA. Then go down and decide what file you want to save as. I'm just going to save it as JPEG. I'll save it to my desktop and, and obviously save this into your contents folder. Uh, so let's go into my basic tutorials here and let's just save it as, I'm going to call it R1 just for render one. So I've got a copy of it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab my uh, my render window. I'm going to leave it open. I'm going to pull it over to my, my second screen because I don't need it for the time being. Then what we can do is you can come down and decide to increase your maximum samples to try and get rid of some of this uh, noise. But also under lighting properties, you also have samples for lighting. So if you start getting, uh, again, like noise, start increasing your samples on here as, as well. Now I've got two lights, so I can increase them both. Now what I would say is like norm, any other renderer, the more you start increasing, the more time it will take to render. So let's put A and then let's put let's put 12 in here. And then if I jump back over here, sampling, I can turn that up a little bit more. 24 maybe. There's other options under render, render globals, render properties, sorry, and then you've got other options. So you can decide on if you want to increase how good the actual refraction and the uh, reflections are so currently i've got four and four we can double them as well and so on and so forth and you can keep going up you've got a d speckle this will help so let's put it let's turn this down to 0 0.2 and again we can just click another render and see till we get the the way we kind of want it to be uh, and that's as easy as it is for to to re rent to render and re-render then we just click render again and then it will render when render through and bring us a uh, a new rendered image up okay so that's rendered done and here's the next render and again you, you keep working with it to get a better render now other things you can do is the actual render in VPR is made up of lots of elements so under at the side of it, it says VPR in your camera window you've got this final render but inside here are other passes that you can actually render out as well if you want. So if you just if you wanted a depth pass, you can render this depth pass out. Uh, oh, so if you wanted to do the shadows, you can render the shadows out. So to do this, what you do basically is when you're on the render tab. Go to buffers and this holds all those passes I've just shown you uh, when I was on VPR. So all these passes under here are all here. You've just got to click which ones you want. So I, I chose a depth one, didn't I? And then let's say 
uh, the shadow. So I'm just going to say I want those two passes. You can do as many as you want. And so, so let's say I was happy with that. And then what you do is just for quickness, let me just put this back down really low so I can just render it out quick. And what I'll do when it renders out in the actual window panel, it opens up after this, it will give you the options then to choose and resave each each pass uh, separately. So once it's done, look, if I go up to buffer, they're all here. So we've got alpha, we've got the depth. And you've got the shadow so like before you would just go into file jpeg and then you would save that as a shadow pass save the depth pass and so on and it's as easy as that and you can save them all out separately take them into your post-production and start playing around with them and that's how easy it is to render out in lightweight 3d thanks for listening